Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to use PM2 together with Streamlit. So Streamlit is a very nice framework that allows to be able to build and share and work with data apps very quickly in case you are a machine learning or data science engineer. So we're trying to see how to use Process Manager 2 to run Streamlit, right? So what is Process Manager or PM2? So PM2 is a process manager that allows you to be able to manage and keep your application running forever right inside your server so in case i build a simple stream app and i place it on my server so for me to run it i have to open my terminal and then i have to run some code right so once i do that the app will keep on running but if i close this particular terminal by default the app process is going to stop and then my users or anybody from outside cannot have access to the app so the solution is to use supervisor right so supervisor or uh, forever js or any other application right to keep, or team to keep it to keep it running so that even if i close my terminal the app keeps running the other alternative is to use pm2 right so pm2 is going to replace this particular one so that even if i close my terminal my app keep on running behind the scene in the foreground or in the background and then my users or anybody can have access to my app so let me show you what i mean so i have my streamlet app here as you can see so let's run it to run it just go with streamlet run app.py so this is going to run the app for me in a very simple way and then you start right writing some code perfect so this is the local host that is running on automatically going to use my default browser which is brief brief is a nice browser but let's use chrome so I go back again and I'm going to paste in the address, right? So localhost 8501, right? So we're going to spin up my streamlet. So the streamlet app is working as expected, right? So the app works perfectly. But the moment I close this terminal, right? If I close it without even stopping the app, if I close it, I cannot have access to it again. So it's connecting, connecting, connecting. Then it's going to fail. I can't have access. This size can't be rich. That is what I mean. So once I close my terminal, you cannot have access to the app again. So that's why we are seeing this site can be rich. So you can use supervisor to help you run the app continuously or use foreground. But let's use process manager, right? So in case you don't have process manager on your system, you can just install it with this option. So I go back again and install it on my system. It's going to be my npm install process manager. So that is how to install process manager on your system. So npm install globally process manager so i've already installed so i'll just go straight away with it you can also use sudo in case you are on not a sudo either and let's go back to my location so to run the app we need three things so first of all we need the main app itself and we need a, another file which is going to contain the command that we use to run streamlet this particular command on it right so streamlet run app.py so you must have that particular command so if i go back and i check it out here to have my app itself, the Streamlit app, I have another file called run app.py, which is going to just have import process. Then the command I would have run inside my terminal is placed inside this particular file, right? You can use a different alternative, but this is simple for me. Perfect. Now let's run it. So I'll go back again, clear off. We still have our app, then process manager two status, right? So let's see process manager whether it's installed. So that's a help you can see the various commands we can use with this wonderful library so you can start an app you can start you can trigger you can deploy you can scale you can stop all of these cool stuff so let's go back again and check it out so back again so to run it just go with my pm2 let's check so the moment so let's see so let's check the status of it so pm2 status Perfect. So as you can see, there is no app running, right? There's nothing there. Now let's see how to run it. It's going to be PM2 start, right? Then I'm going to specify that. Okay, I want to run this particular app. So run app.py. Then because it's a Python library, right? this is a Python application you are running, right? You have to specify the interpreter you want to use, and then specify that I want to use Python 3, right? If it was Node.js, you don't need all of this. Right. But because it's a Python application, just go with run this particular application using the interpreter Python. So run it, it's automatically going to start it. And as you can see, the app is running and you can see that the app is online. Right. So if I go back again and I check it out, as you already know, Streamlit already runs on this particular app. 
8501 so if i go back it is running behind the scene the status is there i can also check the logs of it so pm2 click again status you can see that the app is running then pm2 logs to see the logs of it so that the app is already open if i go back again i'm going to see the app is running take some time to show me the logs and as you can see the app is running behind the scene on that particular port as you can see here so if i go back and i refresh it so that the streamlit app is running right very cool right very very nice that is one nice thing with this particular pa package so i can stop it here if i stop it and i close my terminal let's close the terminal so the app is running as you can see if i close this terminal as i said the app still continue to run it's not going to stop it is still running right that is the point of process manager so i don't need to even though i've closed my terminal process manager is still running the app and my users can still or anybody can still have access your client can still have access to your app right very nice so in case you want to inspect it or check it out you can just go back again to your terminal and then check the particular app so you can just go back again and then let's go back to the same place i just go to process manager to status right and you can see the app is running you can see the downtime or the uptime of the app right this amount of seconds and i can also check some other stuff right so i can check or ls to list all the different processes running so this is the only app running in case i want to show get more details about the app i can just go back again and go with pm2 so pm2 ls it's going to list all the process then pm2 show pm2 show then the name of the app which is this run up so run up that is going to give me details about this particular process right so this is it so this is the particular process the name of the app and then the loss is producing at a particular interpreter very cool right so that is something very cool that we can do now let's go back again and check it out so what about if i want to stop it so pm2 ls because i want to stop a particular app so it's going to be pm2 stop then sorry then the particular stuff i'm running so the moment i stop it you can see that the app has stopped and i go back again so now we can't have access to the app again right so you can see that you cannot cannot have access to the app again if i rerun it so the site can't be rich right very simple so that's how to stop it so stop in the app now i can also delete it so let's go back off. I can also delete it so pm2 then delete the particular I can also restart it in case I want to start so let's restart so restart then I'll be starting the run up the name of the app or the name of the process that's going to start it perfectly so if I go back again taking some time for it to start it's online after some time it's going to run because it's starting to process behind the scene so that now it's running as you can see the app is alive right it's online it's alive as you can see that's open perfectly for us you can see the app is running now in case i want to completely stop it pm stop the app then it's going to stop the streamlit app and then i can also delete it right i can also get a lot of information from this particular app behind the scene or this particular process so let's get more information so let me restart again and then we will get more information about it right using the monitor mode so pm2 monitor so i go with pm2 monitor it's going to monitor give me a, a very nice ui inside my terminal in which i can see the processes running right so you can see a lot of things in case i've added custom metrics and some previous stuff you can see all of them inside the monitor mode right very cool so let's get out of here that is for the monitor in case you have the enterprise version you can also go with pm2 plus oh i said plus <laughs> pm2 plus and then you can see the enterprise version but you need to create an account and have it so this is going to give you this option so it's automatically going to open for you and as you can see this is the enterprise version so it's going to ask you some credentials to enter but i'm not using the enterprise let's use the normal everyday one so let me stop it and then let's delete it up to pm2 the list to list all the running up and in case i want to completely delete everything pm2 delete then the particular name so automatically to stop it and then remove it from the procedure 
the PM2 status is no more there, right? There's no app running, perfect. In case I want to also get the logs, right? So these are the logs of the app that was running. These are all the logs running. In case I want to clear off the logs, I just go with PM2 flash. Then I'm going to clear off the logs. So that is how to use this wonderful library. So to start any Streamlit app, you just go with this option here. Yeah? So PM2, then I'm trying to, the particular app, a file in which you'll be running your streamlet command this one here to start your streamlet up here right and then go to specify the interpreter so thank you for watching the tutorial see you another time and there are a lot of things you can also do but you'll be doing that later on see you another time stay blessed bye